All right, we're gonna try and do this fast. So I guess on a three, I'm gonna hit go. All right. One, two, three. And then here I go. You can start time now. All right, so the reason we're in the jungle is because Minnesota QQ was taking the croc of Hookie Baluki back <laughs> to the museum. And on the way over, he was making goulash in it, so nobody was flying the plane, and then he crash landed. And then when he woke up, Bananas. the croc was missing, and he found the crash plane. Or right, we're going to find the crash plane. That's what we do in the jungle. But controls are pretty simple. Arrow keys, space bar. You can pick up power-ups like those bananas I have. I can throw them at the monkeys to pacify them so I don't have to hit them or lasso them. There's only one attack key, so you have a power-up. It replaces whatever key you had before. But jungle's pretty simple. I'm just going to try and run to the end as fast as I can. I don't need to hit those trampolines to make some of these jumps. My main issue when I run this game is trying to fig remember when I have to actually go up super high and when I have to actually nail my timings on stuff because I have to nail that trampoline bounce to go super high. That's a bad first death, but it's not a big deal. I think I also actually have less lives than I'm supposed to because I just came off a, a practice save. And for beating the game, you just get to start at the beginning. All right, we run to the end, and then we get to take a nap. It's important to take breaks, guys. Is jumping same speed as running? Um, it kind of depends, but the momentum can be a bit wacky. I try and... If you jump, sometimes you get stuck at the top and you grapple onto stuff, so I don't jump when I'm around platforms. Because otherwise it could slow me down like that. Oh, hey, Ginger. Yeah, shout out to those guys. They're a very strong, passionate team of runners. They have some pretty crazy runs. They showed me sub-20 was possible. Oh, you just saw right there one of the other mechanics in the game, the grapple. And that's probably one of the most annoying mechanics that you have to use. Because it can really screw you over sometimes. Because the timing is, I want to say, somewhat strict. Oops, I don't want to enter that bonus zone if I jump too high. And then that's jungle too. So each main world has three sections. And they usually have something at the end that's important that we try and discover. Now I know there are different optimal paths with like damage boosting and stuff, but so far I haven't gotten my stuff down that consistently, so I just try and go low and fast where I can. I don't want to get bumped off, because whenever you get hit, there's, you get a bit of knockback and you get stunned. So it's really easy to die if you get damaged over a, a gap, and it can be very annoying. The letters? Um, I'm pretty sure if you collect all the letters in Cuke, then you get some bonus stuff. Yeah. I think bonus moyai or monkey heads. Oh, don't knock me into there. That's an extra life from that cowboy hat. A few more jumps, and then we find the crashed plane. Hello. All right, I'm going to skip the cutscene there because we're going for speed. But basically, we find out that we're suspecting that the croc has been stolen and might be in the village of the nearby P natives, who all live in the trees, and there's lots of dangerous platforming. Shoutouts to P-Skip in the chat. I'll see if I can go for it. But for now, I just need to not fall in any holes. The P-Natives are a little more difficult than normal enemies because you can't lasso them. So you only have to jump on them. And then the ones in the Tiki Master are stacked too high, and then when you hit one, it splits into two regular peas. All right, so there's the, the tall path. And that's pea skip. You just go for that one really ballsy jump and you don't get knocked off by that pea guarding the ledge there. I made it. <laughs> the ultimate. 
All right, all right. Not that kind of peace, Skip. Come on, chat. Don't be weird. I bring the professionals in here, and this is how you act to them? All right, I need to jump at least this high to make this gap. And then I'm pretty sure I don't need to go high up here, so I'm just going to run along the ground. Even though the deaths are like pretty generous and that you get all these little coconut checkpoints or maybe they're tomatoes, I'm not sure, but all of those are checkpoints and then you get a generous amount of lives and even if you continue, you just continue from the last level you were on with four lives. That's P Village 2. Whoops, I was holding left but it stopped me because I reset me between levels. Yeah, because the last lowing does take up a bit of extra time. Make sure I'm not falling in any holes or falling in any natives. Hey. Alright, this one, this jump is really annoying, so I'm going to go for the max range kind of grapple swing there. Yeah. Try and space myself around these guys. Ooh. I need to get up here so that I can get into some of these buckets. I can take a trip. There's a little bit of a faster way to do this. I'm gonna try and go for it. Bucket skip! It's it's not really a thing. It's just <laughs> I just said, oh, I'm gonna skip this bucket, and then that became a joke among some of my friends that if you just skip the one bucket by going a little early, oh, it's the bucket skip, bro. He's insane. Yeah. Oh. Don't leave me behind. Alright. I think it's probably possible to go faster there, but... Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm gonna have to go for the next cycle. Gotta wait until I'm safe up here. Oh, shoot, I missed my jump. That's bad. But luckily, the checkpoint is pretty close by. Oh my god, my brother's Andy be wadding me. Come on, large frog. Have some support. Okay, the buckets are, are challenging. I think P Village is harder than some of the cave levels. Okay. Oh! Chat, chat, please. Chat, please. I've been practicing, I swear. <laughs> chat, these weeks weren't for nothing. Chad, I nailed this in practice like 30 minutes ago. Thank you, Ginger. Okay, that time I actually made it straight into the bucket. Now I don't have to go for another risky jump up here. But I will. I Just kidding, it. there's no risk. Alright, I only have one life left, so I might quickly die at the beginning to get some extra ones. Or I could just try and one-try it. River's kind of weird. I don't like the power up here because it takes away your lasso and only slows you down. And it's really easy to get sniped by the piranhas and other stuff over ledges and die. Take a spin. Oh shoot, I missed my my fast thing. I have to try it again. There we go. Slide. Oh, I'm 
not supposed to. I'm supposed to jump over that. Oh! Nice try, Piranha. Yeah, take a spin! Take a spin. <laughs> All the sound effects in this game are absolutely wonderful. around by the bees. <laughs> I need a nap. I do need a nap. I'm a twirl. <laughs> oh, I'm missing my jump over that again. It's okay, I'll just go up top. pretty bad because that means I have to quickly game over and reset without my my thing without my checkpoint but now this means I can first try smile the strat it's okay you just game over from the same level just without checkpoints but with four lives which is very generous of them oh I missed my my take a spin so those rocks being thrown around that's from a newer type of enemy Coconut Ape, the main, the, the titular title characters of the game, the Coconut Apes are our next suspect on the list of who stole the croc of Hookie Baluki. I keep on going for this thing that I did a little bit in practice where you jump up off a platform and grapple at the same time. It's kind of... Hard to do. Hey. Oh, don't want to fall in that. That would be a bad way to end it. Time for a break. All right, River Two done. Get ready. Yeah, I saw some of you gingers and multi's insane damage boosts in the world record stuff. They have some pretty optimized strats. I try and do them when I can, but... It's pretty good. I found a similar skip to that, which I'll talk about later in Ruins, where I was jumping up and the the gnats damage boosted me onto one of the platforms there, and it was very cool. So there are some of the coconut apes throwing their rocks and boulders from everywhere. Very scary. jumps up here one good grapple Ooh, close jump there ah <laughs> uh, well I have some more underground speed Bob games for you later today if you stick around you can't skip that first line of bobs for whatever reason, but I'm gonna try and get out of there as soon as I can. Get onto the caves. So caves are rough because... Not only because of the bats... That come down and try and get you, you can't grapple them either. And then there's just all these annoying thwomp-like... Structures that get in your way. You can damage boost through some of them to skip large sections, but generally it's not too bad. Yeah, that was pretty good. I did jump over that because I think there's a spring hidden in there. Okay. Probably should have boosted off the first one, but skipping one's fine. Now I need to go high. Oh, I missed the, the high grapple. You were promised the Rallin sound effects because for a while I could never get the sound actually working, but thanks to the the kind help of the speedrunning community, Jinja and Multi, you're able to get that working. 
Andy sound effects. <laughs> But he was doing those blind. He hadn't heard like the actual audio before. They weren't sick, they were improvised. Get ready. Oh, bad grapple there. Slowing me down. Alright, this one's really annoying. You gotta kinda of fake it out or get a damage boost going in the right direction, because otherwise you just get me to drop off that one. Maybe I'll show it off again if I have like a little bit of spare time or I'm waiting for a cycle or something, but um because he's a cucumber, he can't like crouch, so he has this really funny duck animation. Where he just bends he just bends at the hip or the middle. It's very silly looking. Alright, this one I have to catch on the up cycle. Very tricky. Give me the lore, please. Well, now we're trying to, now that we know the coconut apes might have had in the caves, and we're trying to search all of the caves for it. Because these coconut apes keep on stealing it and taking it far, far away. And the croc of Hookie Baluki is a priceless artifact. So priceless that Minnesota here cooked a goulash in it, and that's why he crashed his plane. But it is a priceless artifact nonetheless, and we need it for the children's museum. Because we are a good Christian. Hopefully these bats just get tired if I just outrun them. That was some pretty good platforming. Okay, I just need to remember to hit the spring at the end. Not that one. Oh. Don't mess with me, bats. I'm so close. Just run straight through that one. Get some funny platforming. And then we hit this and look at this sick animation. Boom! How may I direct your call? Get ready. Oh oh yeah, we, we learned the other day from reading the box that Hooky Baluki is spelled differently than I thought, and my world like fell apart at hearing that. So now we're off to the ruins. To hit my fast there. Shout out to the Mario speedrunners. <laughs> this is Bob. How may I direct your call? Oh, I love Bob's answering lines. They're so good. Okay, Ruins is like mostly easy platforming, and then it just throws these really hard grappling sections at you where you need to hit like max distance stuff on multiple in a row. How is it spelled? It's I-E's, apparently. It's so strange. For the longest time, I've been joking with it as like an obscure reference spelling it E-Y. And yeah, I was just as shook. All right, that was pretty good. We got through that. No deaths. But there are more of those to come. We'll see how the multi-grapples treat us or how well I do on them because it's all just timing I know that some runners have their own tricks I know um I think multi likes to swing back and forth oh yeah there it is I missed it just by a little bit the thing is these main levels are actually a lot harder than the final sequence the final sequence is all just platforming without enemies to mess you up and just because they do that, like, it makes it so much easier that you can go, like, really fast on it. Oh, I have to not get memed by the boulder. Alright, there's my double swing there. We still have, like, a few triples. Because if I'm, if I'm playing well, I can, like, um, what's it called? You can do that and, like, hit it right off the beginning. Play my tuba there to blast the gnats and the... Hey boy, but I didn't do it soon enough. Hey. 
you need to hit a, a max height one. Oh no, I messed it up. I went too fast. If you don't hit a max height one at that bottom one, it just kills you. Now you want to spell cuke, but um, you don't always hit all of them. No, I did it again. I, my momentum gets so messed up there. It's really bad. All right. This time, I will not flop. I flopped. We're a flop. We're flopping. It's so difficult. Well, it's not difficult, but it is. It is difficult. It's harder than it looks. <laughs> There we go. Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. The goal's right there. All right, we have, I think, one more really long section in Ruins 3, but I only have one life, so if I die, it'll reset me to the beginning of it, which is kind of a yikes. Cause two game overs is... Yeah. All right, if we reset, that's a fine death, because at least we can keep them for that last try. Get our extra lives going for that. I am not a beginner, contrary to what the deaths would have you believe. But I will try and do my best not to flop day off. As difficult as it is. There we go. That's the fast strat. This is the nat boost I was talking about earlier, where sometimes taking a hit there would pop me up on that platform. I'll get my extra life there. Hopefully I don't need to use any of them, but... K. E. <laughs> Letters. Oh, this part. All right, Jungle Jimmy. Who goes, there? Who goes there? It's me, and I'm gonna race you so freaking fast. Unfortunately for Jungle Jimmy, he's never met a Drift King before. We're gonna race our way to the top so fast, and time is when I reach the actual top and the cutscene starts. So it's right up here. Wow. Time. I can't believe you beat me! No <sighs> me at climbing! Not even the coconut! Two continues is <laughs> not great, a little worse than when we practice. A lot worse, but the museum will be glad to have it back. Shoutouts to everybody that trained me, got everything working, got all this beautiful audio. Yeah, so Jungle Jimmy was wearing the croc as a hat, and we raced him for it. It's a gift from me to you, and you don't have to steal it. A gift? Wow, I've never gotten a gift before, and this hat is much more comfortable. Hey! Making friends with people <laughs> works out a lot better than stealing from them. God wants us to be nice to each other, to share and give gifts, not steal. You know what? From now on, I'm <laughs> friends with Dude, it comes out hot at you the end. The stuff I've stolen. Thank you, brave cucumber, for showing me that God's way is the best way. <laughs> no problem. Just another day at the office for... Wow, this is really on brand for my stream, guys. <laughs> no stealing. God's way, baby. Lo love and help each other. Ah, <laughs> oh, that is that is Minnesota Cuke in the Coconut Age. <laughs> what was my final time? Twenty three. Oh, that's still a PB. I got twenty three 